Hey everybody, how's it going and welcome back to another g video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Myth of Empires, how to set up your own server, how to rent it, how to get 10% off. So let's get to it. So originally the game came out a while back and then it was taken off, but we're not getting into that one. But what is it? Well, it's another sandbox survival MMO from Angelia Game. It's a set in a medieval inspired world and it's finally leaving early access. Leaving early access means a lot of new content, such as a completely new map and more. So the new features, for example, mod support, completely new map, the Dongzo, new skills, new bosses, and new reworked AI, new tools, new defenses, and much more. A new horse racing mode, that's going to be one of my favorites, battleships, new farming system, and more. So, what a better time to get your own server. And I'm going to help you out with 10% off. So check that link in the description now. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is head over to the G Portal website. Go to rent a server. You'll probably see it up here anyway. But just click rent a server either way. Here you'll see once you've found it. Or if you can't find it by just clicking it that way. You'll just go back to the G port one, click rent a server, and then type in here myth, and you'll see it right there. With this, you want to click on one of these ones, so just click on whatever you want. I would guarantee go with the 16 slot to start with if you don't know what you're doing, and then just click pay with your balance, and that will set it up. Once the server is activated, head over to your Myth of Empire server, and you'll see this page. You have your status, it will be stopped, your GPU usage, your RAM, and your access data, and your game server files. Now you can feel free to jump on this server if you want. Um, I use it as testing, it's not going to be active for long, but feel free to rent your own using my discount code. Next we're going to go into basic settings. The first thing you want to do is just click on here and you're going to give it your own server in basic name. Max of 100 characters. I usually go with something simple like Dare Server. You know, nice and easy for everybody to find. The server description, I don't care about that. It's up to you what you put in there. Password, make your own password. You know. I would saw normally play the leave it as one word, but it's up to you. Whatever. Leave it blank. And then over here, 16 players. You can reduce the size of this at any time if you want to change your server and mix and match it with two different servers or whatever. I'm going to leave it 16 and difficulty. This can be go up to, I think it's free. So it's up to, you no, know, it goes up all the way apparently. I would say just leave it at one for now until you want. For the game server type, I would highly recommend leaving it as PvP because the game is a PvP game. But it's up to you. It does have a PvE server option. For this purpose of this video, we'll leave it on PvP. That's it. Nice and easy. Click save. Once done, you'll see that the update will happen and that's it. If you want to just jump straight in, brilliant. Hit that start button up there and that will boot up your server. And it will take around about between 1 to 5 minutes to before it shows on the server things. And you'll see it's now Dare Server. For file manager and mod support, we'll get into that in another video. But it will be using probably the file manager here, or it will be using the FTP system, which you can find your information here. And you'll use an FTP client like FileZilla. Moving over to the administration side of things, this is kind of where you need to kind of set stuff up. I would usually set this to like 6 a.m. or around about half 5, 6 a.m. and just put, you know, daily restart. And just click save. Now your server will restart at 5.30 a.m. GMT. Or whatever time zone you want. Next, go for backups. This is very important. I would automatically leave backups on. This uh, saves your progress of your server just in case something goes wrong. And as always, create a backup when you first make the server the reason for that if anything goes wrong and you mess around with something in game or with some admin tools or whatnot or you could just quickly go back and restore it to that point it usually takes about a minute or two 
you'll see it pop up on the top right there and then you can just click restore if a issue happens. For permissions you need another user with a G Portal account you would just add their username there and hit add user. If you ever have any issues don't hesitate to contact G Portal support they are one of the best support teams that I've met though they are usually quite flooded with lots of players so please make sure that you write your ticket correctly um, and hopefully they can solve your issue. Alright guys, well that's that for that video. Don't forget, if you like what you see and you love servers and you want constant 10% off you, all your servers, feel free to hit that like and subscribe. Use the code in the description and we'll see you all on the next video. Thanks for watching.